Hello there, Steven here from 101 Designs. So today I'll be showing you how I made my February New Month art in Photoshop. So this is the image I used for the design and um, I'll link it up in the description below. I got it from Freepik, including the background. They are all linked in the description below. So I'll first of all start by removing the image from the background. I'll go to Select Subject now let it highlight the, the the image for me so i can remove it from the background yeah so in most cases when it highlights the the image you need to zoom closer and be sure that the that it highlighted it properly like as you can see here this this area here is not properly highlighted so i'll go down to my quick selection tool here and then I'll increase the brush size by clicking um, the brackets, the square bracket key on your keyboard. You can do that. Then I'll just ensure that all these sides have been highlighted properly. You see also zoom to the other side of the image and just check it. So I've, um, I've selected it and done, then I'll just use this to just um, slash on the hair side. When you come to when you come to select a mask, you have to just use this soft brush. If you look from the left side, you can see they have some brush options there. You can use it to highlight the hairs so it should look realistic. I'll save this as a PNG so i can use it for my design so now um i've saved it as a png then i will create a new file i'm using 2000 2400 width and the height 3000 then i'll create the new file i'll go to where i saved my image this is it i'll drag it in So I'll increase the size. I want it to be, I think, this big. This big. Yeah, I think I'll increase the size a bit. Something like this. It's fine. Okay, it's okay like this then. I will go and bring in my background. I think my background is somewhere here. Yeah, this is the background I used. Place it in, drag and drop. Then I'll increase the size so it can fit properly to the frame. Take it backwards. So you can see if I leave it like this, it's not really going to look really nice. So what I'll do, I'll go to filter, blur, then Gaussian blur. So I think um, this this is okay like this. It's okay like this. So you can see now there is a there is contrast between the background and the image. So I'll then go and um, brighten my image a bit, make it look better than the way it is. Just give it some little lighting on it add some effect to it filter camera raw filter and then i'll just tweak some of this these effects here and see what i can get exposure no not not that too much increase contrasts Okay, yeah, so I'm done. As you can see, the picture now has um, better brightness. This is the previous before, and yeah, this is what we have now. So um, I'll then go and 
um, see okay now I, I want to have the title written at the top here so I'll type I'll type the title it says hello February hello Feb February and then I will need to increase the text size the font I used was cool vertica I think cool vertica for my fonts sorry cool vertica this is the font I used so I don't think I need to take the size up okay cool vertica let's see I give you this color so as you can see my the contrast is not really given for this font and it can't be white so what I'm going to do yeah what I'm going to do is I'll leave it like this for the meantime then I would I'll let me just align the font properly give it sorry come down here let's see 16 i'm trying to align the spacing between the the hello and the february i'm trying to make it look proper so yeah i think this is okay oh let me make this 25 yeah then the font i'll drop it down a bit as well then I'll center, I'll align it to the center here. And then, okay, that's. Yeah, so as you can see, the font is not really visible. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add white shadows behind. I'll create a new layer. I'll take it behind my model so it's not going to block their face. Then, I'll go to my brush tool then i'll use a white color white brush and then i'll paint around I'll increase the brush size ensure it's a soft brush from here and then i'll just paint paint around like this so i can have my text visible and also paint down some areas so as you can see um, I already have this um, the font now can be visible can be visible someone can see what we wrote hello February then I used a gradient a particular gradient for for it so I'll just look for that so you can actually use any gradient that suits you when you are working so I'll just think I used one of these red gradients here yeah this is what I used for my design I'm just recreating what I did for my February uh, my February new month art so this is it this is um, the fonts I've achieved that I had a little subtext below however I did that with the glass morphism morphism effect um, so I'll do that here too I would create a shape like this just a rectangular shape I will make it rounded around the corners so in order to achieve the glass morphism effect on this so what i'll do is i'll turn off the rectangle shape layer and the text layer then i'll hold on this i'll create a flatten layer for this by holding shift ctrl alt e and then it will create another new layer for me here then i would convert this layer to a smart object then i'll add brushing blur to it I think yeah this level of version blur is okay then I would ho hold on the, the rectangle layer I just duplicate it for some reasons 
I would go to the rectangle shape layer, I hold control, drag it and drop into the the flatten layer. I'll turn the rectangle layer off. As you can see, it has this that's created the blur um, shape for us here, the blur effect for us here. So now, as we have this, I would right click on this, go to blending options, go to gradients, gradients overlay, then I'll use these basic white gradients here. So you can tweak it, you can use this um, gradient, uh, this one to align the angles and then I'll add a stroke. The stroke tool has the same, the same, I'll set stroke size to 4. Stroke has the same gradients, same basic white gradients on it too. Then I'll save it like this. Then I'll turn on my I'll turn on my my um, title again so as you can see I already have that um, glass morphism effect on the shape now so I can go ahead and type my text so this um, I've, I've typed my text I've pasted my text my subtext let love be the melody of your days so um, I think this is we're almost done here one thing I'll do is just to I added some love emojis. Yeah, so I added this love emoji. I'll just drop the size like this, take it up here, drop the size a bit more, and then I'll just add a I think my text moves. I just add a motion blur effect to this one. Motion blur. I'll leave it like this. Let me just see. That's just a bit. So I add this motion blur effect, then I'll duplicate it and leave one down here as well. So I think we are good with this. Then that, what I'll just do, I'll just make it look a bit better by adding some brightness. To make it look more sharp and yeah that's basically all so you can go ahead and do any other editing you want to do but this is how i made my february new month art in photoshop thank you for watching stay tuned to my channel for more tutorials like this thank you and don't forget to subscribe and click Turn on the, the post notification button so you'll be notified anytime I drop a new video.